that video was longer than I expected. I just did a video on all of the features of the Super Duty and I've got like 30 minutes of footage to cut down because there are so many things to talk about. But that's not what this video about is about. This video is about all of the new engine options coming for 2023 in the Ford Super Duty. I have a 2021 Ford F350. It has the 7.3 liter Godzilla engine. Uh, in 2021, you had three options and now you will have four, including two brand new options. So what's changed and what do we think the power output's going to be? Let's talk about it. We'll talk about gas engines. We'll talk about diesel engines and we'll see, you know, what we think the power output's going to be and how it fits in your life. In the coming weeks and months, Ford will probably release some specs on these engines, but we don't know anything yet. All right, of our four engine options, the first one is the standard engine. It is a gas engine. It is a brand new 6.8 liter V8, and it replaces the Boss 6.2 liter V8. Ford's new 6.8 liter V8 engine will be mated to a lighter duty version of the 10 speed transmission that they're using in the larger gas and power stroke diesel engines. I think this is a, a big plus. Uh, I've never towed with the 6.2 liter, um, but I did have an AT4 and that AT4, the 6.6 .6 liter gas that GM puts out, the specs are pretty darn close to the Godzilla engine, but man, that Godzilla engine tows much better. And I one of the reasons is that engine only had six speeds. Sounds like they're going to do 10 speeds coming in the future. But uh, anyways, that only having six gears definitely hindered that engine. It, it, it didn't have enough room when it, you know, when you're getting out of the expressway. And then at certain speeds, like 64 miles per hour, the engine would, would search between five and six, even on flat territory. It just didn't quite know which gear it needed to be in. So having a few more gears, uh, I think definitely helps. I think that'll definitely help this engine. This new 6.8 liter push rod engine appears to be the 7.3 liter with a shorter stroke. So hopefully these engines are related and that will relieve some supply chain issues for Ford and maybe they can share enough parts that uh, it'll help out. I'm no engine doctor. I don't know how this stuff works, but if it helps them ship more trucks, I'm all for it. Random sites on the internet tell me that it takes three years to develop a new engine, which would put this engine on the drawing board pre-COVID. If it's just a 7.3 with a shorter stroke and the development time was shorter, maybe this is response to COVID supply chain issues. I'm just speculating. I have no idea. Um, you know, if maybe Ford will tell us coming in the future, but hey, again, if they can ship more trucks, it's a win for all of us. So Ford has not released any power specs yet on this engine. All we can do is take a guess. So we're going to use some basic math here. 6.8 is 93% of 7.3. Oversimplification. Uh, we're just going to take that size difference to guess at the power output first. So, uh, First, let's talk about the Boss 6.2. That put out 385 horsepower and 430 pound-feet of torque. If we were to take this 93% guess against the 7.3 numbers, the 6.8 liter would put out 400 horsepower and 442 pound-feet of torque. And then the 7.3 is 430 horsepower, 475 pound-feet of torque. So that oversimplification math puts us at 400 horsepower and that has a really nice ring to it. Um, hey, our standard engine is 400 horsepower. Uh, sounds great. But during the presentation, the Ford execs kept saying that they were aiming at being the best. You know, not specifically about this engine, but just kind of all over. Generally speaking, they want to be the best. They said it a few times. So. If they're looking to have best in class, standard gas engine horsepower, 
Is that the number they would target? Let's take a look at the competition. So the Ram 6.4 liter Hemi V8 puts out 410 horsepower and 429 pound-feet of torque. The GM 6.6 liter V8 puts out 401 horsepower and 464 pound-feet of torque. So the torque numbers on GM's gasser, they're just too close to the 7.3, right? 464 pound-feet of torque versus 475. Uh, I don't see... I don't see Ford trying to bump past that, that GM just so they can have, have best-in-class standard torque. But I, I'm guessing they're going to go after the horsepower crown. So if we look closer at the specs Ford has released on the 6.8 and compare that to the 7.3, we can see that uh, the two engines share the same bore, which is sort of like the, the cylinder diameter. But the 6.8 liter has a shorter stroke, which is, you know, how far that piston travels as it goes up and down. So with that piston traveling a shorter distance, we might be getting an engine that revs a little bit higher and is able to prioritize horsepower over torque. So if that's true, my wild guess here, final numbers, I'm going to guess that they want to beat Rams 410 horsepower. My final guess on the 6.8 liter is 420 horsepower and 440 pound-feet of torque. I, I feel like I'm probably high on the torque number, but uh, we'll go with it. <clears throat> so this would give Ford's gas engine the highest standard horsepower in class with the 6.8 liter, and it would give you the highest available torque with the 7.3 liter. 7.3 liter Godzilla engine has a relatively low power to displacement ratio. So my guesses for the 6.8 liter are based on the Godzilla number, um, but you know, the Ford engineers should certainly be able to get more power out of the 6.8 if they want to. Uh, it's, it's a large engine for the output. So I think they can do this. Um, but then the question becomes why pay the $1,700 premium for the 7.3 liter engine if you only get a small power boost. So at these numbers, the 6.8 liter with a 430 axle ratio probably wouldn't pull much different than a 7.3 with like a 3.73. So Godzilla gets a power boost. If I'm right and the 6.8 is going to prioritize horsepower, uh, that's going to, you know, provide a little differentiation between the two engines. This is the horsepower engine. This is the torque engine. And the 7.3, though, is still going to need a torque boost to clearly differentiate it as the superior gas towing engine. During the Ford presentation, they mentioned the 7.3 liter will get a spec bump. This engine's been in the field now for a few years, and other than some early spark plug wiring issues, uh, it's been a reliable truck. It's been a good engine. So they probably have enough data now to know how to push it further while hopefully maintaining reliability. The size to power ratio on this engine's low, bumping up that output shouldn't be a big deal for them. So how much is the 7.3 liter power going to increase and Will it be enough to justify that cost bump over the 6.8? Now let's let's look at the now retired 6.2 liter boss to make a guess. And remember the 6.8 liter numbers were a guess, so this is a guess built onto a guess. So the 6.8 liter, it, our guess is 420 horsepower. And so if we apply those same increases, we're gonna look at a 7.3 with maybe four, close to 490 pound-feet of torque. Pushing to 490 pound-feet of torque is only a 3% increase. So it's possible they go big and they go 5% increase to hit 500 pound-feet of torque. That's a big number for a gas engine. Um, it would give them a massive talking point, but I don't think they need that talking point right now, so maybe they'll leave some leave some power on the table for later.
So my final guess on the 7.3 is they're going to bump the specs to 440 horsepower and 490 pound-feet of torque. That is the gas engines. What about the diesel engines? Is the Power Stroke getting a boost? Yes and no. The Power Stroke 6.7 liter turbo diesel V8 pushes out 475 horsepower and 1,050 pound-feet of torque. I think those numbers are going to be unchanged. I didn't hear them say that they were going to increase those numbers. Uh, but I think that's fine. Uh, this engine can tow 37,000 pounds, um, just a massive amount of weight. And, um, and they're really, you know, close to top of the market here already. So, you know, for the RV crowd like me, um, I mean, that, that number is already overkill in most circumstances. Even massive toy haulers rarely are larger than 20,000 pounds. So, uh, you know, a 37,000 pound capable engine is, is more than enough. Um, you know, I'm towing, I'm towing 15,000 with the gas engine and it's doing fine. Um, if we're going to talk about what do you, what do you need? You need a powerful gas engine um, in almost every circumstance under 16,000 pounds, unless you're at altitude. Gas engines lose power as you get higher up because the air is thinner, diesels don't have that issue. So what do you need? You need the gas engine. Uh, what do you want? Hey, if you want the power stroke, I mean, go for it. If you got, you got that extra 10 grand to drop, do it. It's, it's a beast. Um, just know that you don't need to. For 2023, our fourth engine option is a high output version of the power stroke. High output when you already are putting out over a thousand pound feet of torque. Uh, for the RV crowd, you really don't need this. Um, I, if you could already tow 37,000 pounds, I, you know, who is this for? This is for people who are hauling every day and just need, well, I mean, it's for people who want more power, right? Is there any RV out there that you can tow that really needs this? No, but do what you want. Ford has given no indication what the numbers will be on this high output version, um, but maybe we can look to their competitors namely Ram, and get some ideas. The base diesel engine for Ram is the Cummins inline-six turbo diesel putting out 360 horsepower, 800 pound-feet of torque. And for years, they've offered a high-output version of that inline-six, which bumps you up to 420 horsepower and 1,075 pound-feet of torque. The Cummins high-output beats the power stroke on torque by a small margin. Remember that Ford said they want to be the best. We know that torque number is going to be over 1,075, but by how much? Will the difference in the power stroke high output be 34% like with the Cummins variants? So that would put the power stroke high output at over 1,400 pound feet of torque, which is just insane. I can't fathom that Ford is going to reach that far, especially when they're still using the same transmission. I think if we got a third variant of that 10 speed, that would be a hint that they went that far, but they have not said that that's what they're doing. If we look back at the gas engines, the 7.3 liter is sort of like a high output version of the new 6.8 liter. I made some rough guesses as to what those numbers would be for the two gassers and my guess put the torque increase between the gassers at around 14 percent if we put a 14 percent bump on the power stroke that 1050 pound feet of torque on the standard version gets us to just under 1200 pound feet of torque 1200 pound feet of torque sounds really cool so my final guess on the Power Stroke 6.7 liter turbo diesel high output V8 is 520 horsepower, 1,200 pound-feet of torque.
But what's it gonna cost? The RAM charge to upgrade from the standard to the high output is $2,800. I don't think Ford's going to make as big of a jump between, you know, in power output. And so I don't think they're going to charge that much more. I think we can look again to the gas engines. The current 6.2 liter to 7.3 liter bump in price is $1,700, right? The Godzilla costs $1,700 to upgrade. I think that is probably more in line with what they're gonna do with the Power Stroke. I'm guessing that Power Stroke high output variant is probably gonna come in under $2,000. I think the interesting thing about this high output variant is that they don't need a new transmission for it. All right, so those are my thoughts on the upcoming four engines that Ford is putting out for 2023. Remember, we've got the 6.8 liter standard engine, I'm guessing we're going for best-in-class horsepower there with 420 horsepower. We've got the 7.3 liter Godzilla engine coming back, but definitely getting a spec boost. Uh, I have that engine. I, I really, really like that engine. And I'm, you know, I'm guessing they're bringing us up to around 490 pound-feet of torque. Keep that, keep that best-in-class gas torque crown. The power stroke seems to be unchanged. And now we have a high output power stroke, which is, I'm guessing, not going to be as big of a jump as the Cummins does. But I think it's going to, it's going to take over with 1,200 pound-feet of torque and be the new champion of the heavy-duty truck market. We'll see. We'll be getting those specs in coming months. That's all I've got for today. If you want to see more about the 2023 Super Duty features, I'll be linking that video somewhere. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want more truck and RV content. I'm Ryan. Thanks a lot.